watching Friday Night Lights, brought to you by Pacific Office Automation. Pacific Office Automation, problem solved. Hey, welcome to week five of Fox 12's Friday Night Lights, our first show of fall. I felt like we're in shorts at a tank top, but you don't want to see that. The great outdoors, you can kind of bottle it up like tonight and unscrew that cap come maybe November, even next week. And back in the game on our big game, it's Fox 12's Craig Burnback at Jesuit High where the Crusaders and Rams, you know, they rarely ever disappoint, but sometimes, Craig, they can be lopsided. Yeah, but you know that the Holy War is one of the biggest rivalries in the state of Oregon. And the last two years, Central Catholic, well, they got the victory and the bragging rights. So you know tonight, Jesuit seniors wanted to make sure they walked off this field with a victory. The Crusaders came out on fire in this Holy War. Kate Wisher went over the 100-yard rushing mark in the first quarter. Those yards included this 18-yard touchdown scamper, followed up by this four-yard beauty, and it was 14-0 in a flash. Once Wisher went down with an injury, the quarterback, Will Spitznagel, he stepped up his game. This dive to the right side of the end zone well, it gave the Crusaders a 21-3 lead at the half as the offensive line dominated all night long. You know, we've really focused on offensive line uh, getting better, and I think that's what we're doing. We're getting a lot better. Uh, as you saw tonight, you know, it's impressive what they can do. In the second half, Central Catholic shows some signs of life. This Cade Knighton to Silas Starr connection well, it got the Rams within 11. But on this night, the Crusaders were the class of the rivalry. Spitznagel, he all but ices this one through the air as he throws a laser to Colin McMahon, and the Crusaders cruise to a 42-16 victory. It feels really good, you know. Uh, I had been on the team that beat Central, and we come out here and we just play some good Jesuit football, just run it, grind it right up the middle, and walk away with a big scoring dub back there, and yeah, it was really good. Well, Jesuit rolled up over 400 total yards of offense, and congrats to their head coach, Ken Potter, as he moves into a tie for third place for most coaching victories in the state of Oregon. Live from Jesuit High School, I'm Craig Burnback, Friday Night Lights.